stand here. We're here at Minster Golden Gloves Boxing Gym ahead of the 5th and 28th of November at Medway Park. Just chatting to a few of the boxers. So if you want to tell me a little bit about yourself, um, what's your name, age, where are you from? Uh, my name's Dave Jones. I'm coming up 34. And I'm from Sheppey, from here. I was Sheppey. Okay, um, so you're local. Um, and tell me a bit about your boxing. Uh, how long have you been boxing? What got you into it? Uh, well, I started boxing when I was a kid. When I was really young, both my granddads were into boxing. One granddad boxed for the army, and the other granddad boxed for the navy, and they sort of got me into it. Started watching Rocky Balboa, getting right into it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and then uh, I sort of stopped boxing when I was about 14. Started becoming a teenager, you know, and then uh, started up again when I was 18. Done a bit of amateur, then joined the army myself, and uh, just been boxing ever since. Then. Yeah, and now here we are. Yeah, here we are. <laughs> um, so, uh, talking about now that you've tempo, how's your training? Like, how's your training going? Are you ready for your next fight? Yeah, yeah, I'm ready now. I've upped my training this one. I've got a new uh, fitness strength and conditioning coach, uh, Ryan Thompson from RPT Fitness Solutions. He's proper got a grip of me fitness, my strength, conditioning, me eating, everything. You know what I mean? So Ray sorts out my boxing, all my boxing stuff, and then Tomo's in charge of everything else. So I ain't really got to think for myself, you know. I just got to get in there and do the work. Um, you touched on your eating there. So what about like, a, do you have a regime when it's coming up to a fight? Is your diet strict? Do you have anything that you sort of like st follow when it, you're preparing for a fight? I've got basically, I've got to eat a lot. Well, I'm heavyweight. Uh, if I don't eat, I'll just go, just like turn into a missus, I'll get down to light heavyweight or something probably, but I'm naturally an heavyweight, so I've got to eat loads of protein, loads of carbs, got to get me greens down me, you know what I mean, so I'll just basically eat healthy. So how do you manage like uh, with such a tough re um, regime, like you've got to be quite motivated, quite dedicated, how does it fit into your social life or around your work, like do you manage it quite well? I ain't got a social life. Social life goes when I'm training, you know what I mean? That, that start again once this fight's over. I have about two weeks where I go and see all my friends and go, I'm alive, you know what I mean? Get back and have, have a beer and that. But yeah, well, basically I'm non-stop go. I get up in the morning, go out running, then go to work, get home, see my kids for a bit, and then I'm out training every night, apart from Saturday. Saturday's my rest day, just do nothing, you know what I mean? Eat what I want, eat pizza. Uh, um, so your fight's next month, not long. Do you know anything about your opponent? No, no, I don't know yet. It's, it's, it's down to Ray and uh, Joe so well on my fighting. You know what I mean? You know, I'm trust to whoever they say. Basically, I trust them. You know what I mean? They, they, they sort out all that business. I just stay out of it. Sort out myself. You know, get myself fit, get myself ready. So, does it make no difference to you, like who your opponent is? I know someone before said that they prefer not to know. Are you bothered? Does it make? I prefer knowing because uh, in the amateur game. Like, you, you ain't got a clue, all you know is a name, and no one puts anything on the internet, on YouTube and that, because you keep everything hush-hush for championships, you know what I mean? So basically, I walk in a room, look around, see who the biggest geezer in the, in the room is, say, right, I'm fighting you, you know what I mean? It's a bit more nerve nerve-wracking. But in the pro game, I get to have a good look at them, see, see where I can exploit, you know what I mean? See, see what my game plan is, really. You know I mean? Yeah, it's a lot better, I prefer it. And how did your last fight go? Are you going to take anything from that into this next one? My last fight went OK, OK. I, I, I'm learning at the moment. I'm just trying out things. You know, I'm, try, I'm turning from an amateur, upright, long-range boxer into a pro fighter. We, it's, it's, it's a lot of change from Ray's, basically, working me through that. My last fight was about relaxing, getting up on my toes, being nice and snappy. But this fight, I, I want to sit down a bit more. I want, I want knockouts, basically. <laughs> um, and so if anyone wants to come and watch the fight, are you on Facebook? How do people find you, get in touch with you if they want to buy tickets? Uh, I've got a Facebook page, Dave Jones Professional Boxer. Just like that and message me for tickets. Yeah. Um, and is, finally, is there anyone that you'd like to thank before ahead of the next fight? Uh, Steve from Dentes R Us. Thank you, mate. He sorted out the... Uh, me medical, me brain scan and all that business, you know what I mean, because it's, it's a lot of money. And uh, Ryan Thompson from RPT Fitness Solutions, he's, well, I've talked about him, top bloke, top bloke, thank you very much. Okay, well, good luck with the rest of your training and then good luck on the fight. I'll see you on the night. Thank you very much, thank you. Thank you.